सो हे वी गो सो स्टूडेंट टुडे सम क्वेश्चन आई हैव फॉर यू लाइक द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज A point A zero comma two is equidistant from B three comma P and C P comma five. Let's say you have a point A here that is zero comma two, and now you have two points somewhere. Let's say here you have point B and here you have point C. Okay, and the coordinates of point B has been given to you as three comma P, and coordinates of point B are P comma five. These are the coordinates of A B C. Okay, now these distances are equal. A B is equals to A C because point A is equidistant from B and C. Means A B, A B is equals to A C. This has been given to you. It means I can write A B square is equal to A C square. I can write it. Getting this, but right now, let it be. A B is equals to A C. This has been given to you. Now let me find out A B. What would be A B? A B would be Like this, x one minus sorry x two minus x one means zero minus three, zero minus three whole square plus y two minus one means two minus p whole square is equals to similar here also zero my x two minus x one means zero minus p whole square plus y two minus one two minus five whole square. So this has been given to. Now what I will do, I would square, squaring both sides. If I write here squaring, squaring both the sides, so square roots of both the sides will be removed. So I can write here zero minus three, zero minus three is minus three square of minus three is nine plus a a minus b whole square, a square plus b square minus two to the four a b means four p will be equals to the square root has been removed because I have written you have to write here squaring both sides. Here also zero minus p is minus p. Minus p square is plus p square plus two minus five is minus three minus three square is plus nine. P square and p square can cancel each other because both have same sign. And when this p square will come, it will become negative. Then again, they will be cancelled. Okay, and nine and nine also can cancel each other. Both have same sign. So what is left? You are left with four minus four p is equals to zero. It means this four will go there. For this minus four p will go there. Four will remain. Four is equals to four p. So from here you have the value of p is equals to this four will divide here. Four by four. So value of p is how much now? One. Find the value of p. So value of p has came now. Value of p is now p is equals to one. So this was your first question for today. Now write down the second question. Second question is. Let me write the question. Second question is. Find a relation between x and y such that find a relation between x and y such that such that such that the points x comma y is equidistant from such that the point x comma y is Equidistant from three comma six and minus three comma four. Three comma six and minus three comma four. So you have a point x y and this point x y is equidistant from three. So let's say this is the point x y. Let's say this is the point A and you have two another points. Let's say here is the point B and here is the point C. Coordinates of B has been given three comma six and C as minus three comma four. So you have been given that the point A is equidistant from B as well as from C means this distance is equal to this distance has been given to it implies A B is equals to A C. This has been given given to you. It means A B. Write here value of A B. X two minus X one means X minus three whole square will plus Y two minus y one means y minus six whole square is equals to similarly x minus minus three means x plus three whole square plus y minus four whole square. So again, right hand squaring both sides. So square roots will be removed. So what you would be having now only this much x minus three whole square. 
Open it. A square plus B square minus 2AB. Similarly here also. A square plus B square minus 2AB. Getting this? Yes. Is equals to square root has been removed. So here similarly have A plus B whole square. So it will be A square plus B square plus 2AB. Getting this? Similarly here. A square plus B square minus 2AB. Are you getting this? Must be getting. X square and X square will cancel each other. Y square and Y square will also cancel each other. So you are left with what? Is it clear? Correct now. Plus. Hmm, okay. Now X, X, X and Y you keep somewhere. Means together. And where the X and Y are not there. You keep it at other place. So like here. Hmm. Let's say this minus 6 and minus 12 y are going there now. Okay. Minus 6 and minus 12 y are going there. So one thing more you can see. 9 and 9 can also can cancel each other. Am I right? Yes. So minus 6 and minus 12 y will go there. Because both are negative. Will go there and become positive. Are you getting this? And this 16 will come here. Will become negative. So you are left with here 36. This 16 will come here. And will become minus 16. And here you would have what? Here it is plus 6x minus 8y. Now from here minus 6x will go there. It will become plus 6x again. And minus 12y will go there. It will become plus 12y again. Is it clear? Only this much? Yeah, 36 will. Uh, 36 is here. 16 minus 16 minus 6 plus 6x minus 12y plus 12y. Okay. Now you are left with what? 36. It will be 20. 6x plus 6x would be how much? 12x. Minus 8y plus 12. Minus and plus. Both will be subtracted. Sign is of greater 1. So plus 1 sign. So you would have sign of plus uh, 12 minus 8. It will be plus 4y. Divide this complete equation by 4. 4, 4, 4. So here will be 5, 4, 5, 20. 4, 3, ja, and 4, 1, ja, 4. So the relation will be 3x plus y is equals to 5. So this is your answer. You have to find out the relation. Find the relation between X and Y. So this is the relation between X, y, X and Y. So only this much is the answer. Okay. Now let's do next question. Next question is. In a seating arrangement. In a. Seating arrangement of desks in a classroom of desks in a classroom classroom three students Rohini, Sandhya and Bina three students Rohini Sandhya and Bina are seated at are seated at are seated at a three comma one then B six comma four then C, 8 comma 6. So these are the three places where the three students, Rohini, Sandhya and Bina are sitting. Let's say Rohini is sitting at place A, Sandhya is sitting at place B and Bina is sitting at place C. Now you have to find out, do you think that they are seated in a line? Do you think that they are seated in a line. So do you think this? Are they sitting in a line? In a line means, let's say, somewhere here is, this is the point A and the coordinate of the point is 3 comma 1. Let's say here Rohini is sitting. Let's say somewhere here B, that is the point B coordinates of point B are 6 comma 4 here and is sitting. Let's say you have another point that is C and coordinates of point C are 8 comma 6. Let's say here, the third one that is Bina is sitting. 
Now you have to tell whether they are sitting in a line. Means in a line they are sitting. Means you have to tell whether A, B, C are collinear or not. If you can prove that yes, A and B are A, B, A, C are collinear. Means they are in a line. Then you can say yes, these three students are sitting in a line. Are you getting this? Yes. So what you have to show here? You have to show A, B, C are collinear. Only this much you have to show. Okay. Nothing to be worried. So now, first we'll find out AB, then you'll find out BC, then you'll find out AC. If AB plus BC is coming equal to AC, then you can say yes, ABC are collinear and hence Rohini, Sandhya and Bina are sitting in a line. Are you getting this? Yes. So let's find out AB first. So what would be AB here? AB would be 3 minus 6 whole square plus 1 minus 4 whole square by 2 minus y1. So AB would be equals to 3 minus 6 is minus 3 and square of minus 3 is how much? 9. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Square of minus 3 is again 9. So it would be under root 18. You can write it 3 under root 2. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, 3 under root 2. So this is the distance AB. 3 under root 2, 3 is not 3, 3 is 9, 2 is 18. Okay. Now let's find out another one that is BC. Let it find 6 minus 8 whole square plus 4 minus 6 whole square. So it would be how much then? 6 minus 8 is minus 2. A square of minus 2 is uh, 4. Similarly, 4 minus 6 is minus 2 square of minus 2 is again 4. So, it would be how much under root 8. So, again, you can write it as 2 under root 2. So, this will be BC. BC would be how much? 2 under root 2. Now, let's find out the third one that is AC. AC. 3 minus 8. Whole square plus 1 minus 6. Whole square. So, 3 minus 8 would be how much? Minus 5. And square of minus 5 is 25. 1 minus 6 minus 5 square of minus 5 is again 25. So it would be how much? 50. And you can write it as uh, uh, 5 under root 2. Yes. 5 under root 2. Now you can see. If you add A, B and B, C. If you add A, B and B, C. A, B and B, C. How much it is coming? 3 under root 2 plus 2 under root 2. It, will, it would be how much? 3 plus 2, 5 under root 2. So after adding AB plus BC, it is coming out to be 5 under root 2. And AC is also 5 under root 2. Hence, you can say AB plus BC is equal to AC. Since, right here. Since AB plus BC is equal to AC. Coming or not, look here. AB is 3 under root 2. BC is also, BC is 2 under root 2. So 3 under root 2 plus 2 under root 2 is 5 under root 2. And AC is there, 5 under root 2. So hence, you can say since AB plus BC is equal to AC. So hence, a, B, C are collinear. Hence, A comma B comma C are collinear. If they are collinear, then you can say yes, these three students are sticking in a line. So here you write hence Rohini, Sandhya, and the next one is what? Bina are sitting in a line. So this would be your answer. Okay. So, this was your question number 3 for today. Now, the next one. Just write it. Let me read this now. Now, the next question for today. And the question is, prove that the point this, 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 this. Uh, Taken in order, form a rhombus and find the area. Okay. Again, it's an Adi Salma question. Question number 4. Question is, prove that the points... Prove that the points 3 comma 0, next one is 4 comma 5 and next one is minus 1 comma 4 and one more point that is minus 2 comma minus 1. These are the four points taken in order form a rhombus. Taken in order form a 
rhombus means these four points are forming a rhombus rhombus is but rhombus is just like a square but its diagonals are not equal like this it's a square sorry it's just like all sides are equal or also but diagonals are not equal so it is a rhombus so again you have to prove these points are forming a rhombus and one more thing also find the area also find area of rhombus means the rhombus which is being formed you have to find the area of that one rhombus so let's make a figure here first let me make a figure here let's say these are the four points let's say here is the point a coordinates are there three comma zero point b coordinates are four comma five point c coordinates are minus one comma four and point d coordinates are minus 2 comma minus 1 3 comma 0 4 comma 5 minus 1 over 2 minus 2 comma minus 1 so first what we have to find out first find out all the sides a b b c c d d a. if all are coming equal then you can say hence yes it's a rhombus okay so first let's find out a b a b would be how much 3 minus 4 whole square 0 minus 5 whole square you can do you can do it on your own okay so now 3 minus 4 is minus 1 square of minus 1 is 1 and minus it is 0 minus 5 minus 5 minus square is 5 uh, minus square minus 5 square is 25 25 plus 1 26 so it would be how much under root 26 so this is ab now find out bc bc would be how much bc 4 x2 minus x and 4 minus minus in 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 whole square then 5 minus 4 it is 5 minus 4 whole square 4 plus 1 is 5 square of 5 is 25 and 5 minus 1 is 4 5 minus 4 is 1 square of 1 is 1 so 25 plus 1 again it is coming out to be 26 now let's find out the third one that is cd cd would be how much then cd x2 minus x and minus 2 plus 2 sorry minus 1 plus 2 Getting this now? X2 minus 1, minus 1, minus minus 2. So minus 1 plus 2. Whole square plus 4 plus 1 whole square. It's a child's play now. You must be knowing this all. Okay. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 square is 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Square of 5 is 25. 25 plus 1 26. Again, it's coming out to be under root 26. Now let's find out third one. That is AD. AD. 3 plus 2 whole square 0 plus 1 whole square so again 3 plus 2 5 square of 5 25 and 1 square 1 again it is coming out to be 26 and so you can say since ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to ad hence you can say hence here at since ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to cd is equal to da or ad hence a, B, C, D form a rhombus because all sides are equal. Now what we have to find out? We have to find out the area of rhombus. Area of rhombus is this much. 1 by 2 into first diagonal multiply second diagonal. First diagonal is BD. Multiply second diagonal is AC. So this is the area of the rhombus. BD multiply. So first now you find out BD, then you find out AC, multiply this, divide by 2, you will get your answer. Okay. So find out. Now let me erase this. Keep writing. Now we will find out BD first. BD would be how much? BD. BD. X2 minus 4 plus 2. Whole square. Then 5 plus 1. Whole square would be how much? 4 plus 2 6, 6 uh, whole square of 6 is 36. 36. 5 plus 1 6. 6 6 square is again 36. So it is how much? Under root 72. Can be written as how much? Uh, 3. Uh, 3 3 is 9. 9 2 is 
थ्री थ्री जै नाइन थ्री जै सिक्स सिक्स अंडर रूट टू इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज सिक्स अंडर रूट टू यू कैन फैक्टराइज इट एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर सिक्स अंडर रूट तो सिक्स सिक्स जै थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स सेवेंटी टू ओके सो नेक्स्ट डायगनल इज ए सी ए सी इज दिस मच थ्री प्लस वन होल स्क्वेयर देन जीरो माइनस फोर होल स्क्वेयर सो थ्री प्लस वन इज फोर स्क्वेयर ऑफ फोर इज सिक्सटीन दिस इज ऑल्सो सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस सिक्सटीन इज अंडर रूट थर्टी टू अंडर रूट थर्टी टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज एट अंडर रूट टू नो 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 फोर अंडर रूट टू या फोर फोर जै सिक्सटीन टू जै थर्टी टू दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर हंड्रेड रूट टू फोर टू जै सिक्सटीन टू जै थर्टी टू सो दिस इज ए सी नाउ एरिया एरिया ऑफ रॉम्बस ए बी सी डी इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू इन टू फर्स्ट डायगनल दैट इज ए सी वॉट एवर यू राइट फर्स्ट सेकेंड इज बी डी वन बाय टू ए सी इज हाउ मच फोर हंड्रेड रूट टू एंड बी डी इज हाउ मच सिक्स हंड्रेड रूट ओके so you can cut it two two ja four it is coming out to be two under root two multiply six under root two six two ja twelve under root two into under root two two so twelve two ja twenty four square unit so this will be the area of this rhombus okay so this was your fourth question now we would be doing the fifth question of the day fifth question question number five find the equation of the perpendicular bisector find the equation of the this is very important question this one question also very important and the question previous to that like this in a seating arrangement rohini sandhya that one question also very important okay this one also find the equation of the perpendicular bisector विजिबल बी आई या फाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट ज्वाइनिंग ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट ज्वाइनिंग नाइन द पॉइंट सेवन कॉमा वन एंड थ्री कॉमा फाइव Seven comma one and three comma five. So uh, you have a line segment here, but joined by the these two points. First one is seven comma one, and next one is three comma five. Now now you have to find the equation of a line segment perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector bisector means a perpendicular line. This is the perpendicular which is cutting equal parts. In this part and this part both part equal. And this is a perpendicular line. So this one line will be called the perpendicular bisector. This one line will be called the perpendicular bisector. Bisector why? Because it is cutting this line half, half this side, half this side. Okay. And it is perpendicular also 90 degree angles making. So that is why this line will be called the perpendicular bisector. Okay. Now first tell me what would be the coordinate of the midpoint here. This is the midpoint. So midpoint theorem I will apply here. Midpoint theorem is first coordinate will be what? It's the first. It's the first divided by two. This will be the first coordinate. Second coordinate. It's second. It's second divided by two again. Okay. So this is uh, we will. This is how we will get the coordinates of the midpoint here. Coordinates of the midpoint. Coordinates of the midpoint. What would be the coordinates? First one will be first. It's the first coordinate is equals to this. It's the first. This is seven. It's a three, so seven plus three by two, and second one coordinate one plus five by two. Are you getting? So what would be the coordinate then? Seven plus three, ten. Ten by two is five. Five plus one six. Six by two is three. So these are the coordinates. Means coordinates of the midpoints are here five comma three. Okay. Now we will find out the slope of this one line segment. Slope means the slope like this. How much is it just bent? The bend, bending, bending of this one line, bending of this one line. How much line? How much bending is there in this one line? So slope you have to find out. Slope of the line AB. Let's say this is A. 
this is b okay so now finding out slope of line ab we call the slope as m1 what do we call it m1 what do we call it m1 m1 stands for slope of the line ab okay so to find out the bending of this line ab so formula is let's say this is uh, what to say y uh, sorry x2 y2 and say this is x1 y1 okay so formula for finding out the slope is m1 is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is the formula okay so let's find that y2 is how much 5 minus 1 y2 minus 1 x2 minus 1 3 minus 7 okay 3 minus 7 3 minus 7 so it would be how much 5 minus 1 is 4 so from here m1 will be 4 by minus 4 will be answer answer will be minus 1 so m1 is minus 1 so slope of this one line is minus 1 a b line okay okay now what would be the slope of the second one line means the perpendicular bisector to find out the slope of this perpendicular bisector we have a formula m1 multiply m2 is equals to minus 1 means the slope of the first line if the two lines are bisecting each other means perpendicular bisector if the two lines are bisecting each other perpendicularly perpendicularly so the slope of the first line multiply the slope of the second line will be equals to minus 1 okay so slope of first line is how much minus 1 multiply m2 is equals to minus 1 so m2 will be equals to this minus 1 will divide there minus 1 by minus 1 so answer will be plus 1 so slope of second line is coming out to be 1 slope of a b first line is minus 1 slope of second line this is perpendicular bisector its slope is how much plus 1 so we have got the slope of this one line we can find out the equation of this now how to find out the equation let me tell you first you note it down note it okay mm -hmm. slope of the perpendicular bisector so here i am writing upside slope of the perpendicular bisector sorry slope not uh, equation equation of perpendicular bisector which is passing through the point 5 3 passing through 5 comma 3 passing through visible oh sorry not visible here i'm writing some downside I'm writing. okay here i'm writing equation of perpendicular bisector passing through passing through 5 comma 3 passing through 5 so what would be the equation of this one line so equation formula i'm writing here formula is y minus y1 is equals to slope that is m into x minus x1 this is the formula so y minus y1 y is y y1 is how much here this would be x1 and this would be y1 so y1 is 3 is equals to m m is coming out m of the m is slope of the this perpendicular line it is coming out to be 1 so 1 into x minus x1 first coordinate 5 so just solve it you will get the answer of get the equation for this one perpendicular line okay so how to solve this let me tell you so it would be how much y minus 3 would be equals to 1 into x x minus 1 into 5 5 now x and y you keep somewhere together and rest you keep somewhere else okay so this y would go there and it would become how much here it is plus would go there and will become minus y okay so here it is x will remain here x minus y is going there will become will become minus one similarly 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 minus five will remain here or you can say one thing mm, 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 mm. okay 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 this minus five will come here will become plus five minus three will remain here minus sorry plus y would go there will become minus y okay 
so from here x minus y would be equals to how much 5 minus 3 2 so this is the equation of the perpendicular bisector that is x minus y equals to 2 this is the answer very important question also. okay so this is how we would wrap up the today's discussion related to some questions which we have discussed today okay okay then keep watching